as you've been seeing during our show, the Big E is in full swing already. Thousands of fairgoers have come through the gates this past week to experience everything that is great about New England. Real to Reel's Carolee McGrath went to check out all that the Big E has to offer and has this report. It was hot and packed at the Big E as thousands turned out for the 101st annual New England Fair, which began September 15th. The Big E has something for everyone, food, rides, entertainment, and even a couple of wise guys. Stu Gordon, a Danny DeVito impersonator, and Mike Walter, impersonating the late Don Rickles, were making people do double takes in front of the Court of Honor stage. So are you guys enjoying your time here? We're having a wonderful time. Absolutely great. This is my first year here, and uh, I'm, I'm having the time of my life. look <laughs> exactly like Danny DeVito. I do? Yeah. You're the first one that told me that. Can you imagine? I, I can't believe it. A lot wow. of people think he looks like Joe Pesci. Oh. That ain't happening. Strike that one. Anyway, yes, we're just great. it's great to be at the Big E. Very important. This place is awesome. They're great people to work for, and great people come to the Big E. The Big E, which began as an agricultural trade show, has become one of the biggest fairs in the country and represents all six New England states. Kids were able to get up close and personal with the animals and learn more about agriculture in New England. Then, of course, hold on to your stomach because there are plenty of rides that spin and soar high above solid ground. This kid even managed to do the dab for our cameras on the coaster, which is pretty impressive. Is this your first time here? No, this is our fourth year. Okay. Yeah. And so why do you guys come back? Because it seems like fun. The kids love it. It's the food. <laughs> the rides, or a lot of kid rides, and stuff to do on the weekends. So, yeah, we love it. How many miles left open still to feed? I don't want to say what I don't mean. Last year, more than 1.4 million people attended the Big E, which books local talent and big name entertainers like country music's Cole Swindell, who played Saturday, September 16th. Some of Swindell's hits include You Should Be Here and Middle of a Memory. Christian music's King and Country performed Sunday evening, September 17th. The Big E is especially known for the food, lots of beef and deep fried batter. I'm standing inside Pichy Concessions, which is the home of the fried Oreo. They're standing over a very, very hot fry later, and they have been here at the Big E for 50 years, making people extremely healthy. Pichy Concession is a family-owned company from where? Well, what we do is we dip it there in a funnel cake batter, so it's just a, it's a sweet batter. Throw it right here in the fry later, let it cook for a couple minutes. Voila, tasty creamy Oreos. On the opening weekend, Chalice of Salvation broadcast the Mass live from the Big E with Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky as a celebrant and the adult choir from St. Cecilia Parish in Wilbraham providing the music. Mass is celebrated every Sunday at the fair at Union Meeting House. Fairgoers could shop for just about everything as vendors set up in the state buildings and throughout the fairgrounds, from gel soles to mattresses to neon signs to a personality analysis, which I skipped, there was something for everyone. Even Massachusetts Citizens for Life has a display inside the Better Living Center to give people more information about their pro-life work. 29-year-old Elise Texera is one of the volunteers. How are you received here at the Big E? Very receptive. Uh, people come that are pregnant or um, that are adopted or um, this one lady came up with her daughter and the, the daughter said, thank you for not aborting me. And the mom said, um, I don't believe in that. This is a good place for visibility? Yes, definitely. Thousands of people come here from all over. I've had a lot of people stop at the booth that are from New York and Rhode Island and even 10 hours away in northern Maine. Everything the Big E has to offer, it's hard to see at all, but crowds of people are doing their best to fit in as much as possible. We come up here yearly if we can. We missed the last couple of years, but we're back. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.